This here is called a JTI Fuel Scan 450. How do I know that? Because it's right here. I could look up a manual online of how to use this. And I'm gonna show you here how easy it is to use. You notice here the placard. If you filled up, you press auto and then step. If you did not fill up, you simply press step. And this is gonna count the fuel that we use uh, and what we have remaining and our, what our fuel flow is and everything. It's a pretty cool little thing here. So let's turn it on. It's on the Evionics bus. So it'll boot up. And this little thing, I guess, is a question mark or something. But it asks you if you want to fill the aircraft. Well, did you fill up? Let's say that we did not fill up, okay? So if we did not fill up, we just press step. It alerts us that we have low fuel. You can see that because it's blinking and it says we only have 5.9 gallons left. This step button will cycle through how much fuel that we've used, USD, you gotta press it in kind of hard sometimes. How much we have remaining and how long that is of endurance. We're not burning any fuel right now, so it doesn't know what the endurance is. But you know, this would say, you know, at six gallons, it'd probably say we have like 45 minutes left or something like that if the plane was in flight. Uh, and that's it, the required and the reserve is not used because we'd have to have it hooked up to the GPS, which this does not talk to the GPS right now. Uh, so it's just kind of a dummy thing, but it tells you a lot of information that's good to know. Let's turn it off. And we'll turn it on. Now we're gonna say that we did fill up. We're gonna press auto and then step. That's just what it says right there. So now you are uh, good to go. Now it's gonna be accurate for you. Uh, but you have to reset it every time you fill up. Just read the checklist, read the placard. It's really, really easy. Okay, thank you.